for joining us in the telepresence. Please tell us your name and location. Emily and my mama Mary in Shanghai. Emil and my mom Lucy in Paris. Rishi and my dad Mo in Bangalore. Karina and my dad Alex in San Jose. As you all know, our parents invited us to join them at their offices at Cisco for Kids Day at Work. They gave us a video camera so we could show what we learned. With the help of a small crew, we created videos to show everyone today. Okay, let's see what Rishi videotaped in Bangalore. In my video, my dad helped me find out what he and Cisco are doing to help our planet. First, I searched on the web. I got to the website where there was a lot of stuff about Cisco's green programs. I was very happy to see that Dad's company was doing their part to save the planet. Look at this Do You Know section. It covers a lot of topics and suggestions, like for travel reduction and energy consumption. Look, Dad. It says here that Cisco's saving energy right here in Bangalore. Yes, I know. Why don't you quiz me on it? Okay. How are we saving energy here? In the new campus, we are using the latest energy savings and sustainable building operation practices. Correct. How does the new campus use the latest energy savings and sustainable building operation practices? If I remember correctly, the lighting management system uses daylight harvesting to take advantage of available sunlight. That reduces energy use for lighting and air conditioning. Correct. What about labs and data centers? Dual level switching in the labs and data centers enable us to have 500 lux. Now you tell me, what is a lux? It says here that a lux is a unit of brightness. Very good. Now you know how we keep the lights low in our home? We try to do that here at work. What happened? In our offices, we have what are called passive infrared sensors that avoid wasted energy when there's no motion detected. And that's the energy awareness lesson for today. We better keep moving then. Oh. My dad passed a test, and I learned about how Cisco is saving energy in Bangalore. I spent the day with my mama as she worked on an important presentation. Because I know how our actions affect life on our planet, I wanted to make sure that she was taking good care of her environment at work. Here's a video that shows what I learned. Mama tried to explain what she did in her job. I thanked her for trying, but I didn't understand it. Then she asked me to pick up the copies she printed. Thankfully, the printer was set up to print on both sides. But I had a question for her that was more important. Mama, why do you make so many copies of your presentation? Because I need them for the meeting. But they'll be seeing it on the computers and you'll be projecting it in here. You're right. I just need some additional copies. Just making sure you think before you print, just like it says on your email. I just need to check something with my boss. I'll come back soon. Okay. Mama, your computer was powered on since you left. Did you know that you could save energy by changing the settings on your computer to sleep after a few minutes? Thanks for reminding me. Mama, there's still an energy drain when you leave your cell phone charger plugged in. Oh, and I read an article about it. Only 5% of power for some chargers is actually used to charge phones. 95% is wasted when it's plugged into the wall, but not into your phone. That's great, dear. Mama, aren't we supposed to turn the lights off before we leave? The lights turn off automatically after a few minutes when no one's in the room. But it's better that I take action, right? Mm. I thought so. My mama is very smart, but sometimes she doesn't notice little things that help conserve our energy and save our resources. I was very proud of her when she made an effort. Let's see what happened with Emil and Lucy in Paris. My mom was very busy today, and she was running late. So, in my video, I decided to point out ways she could be more efficient and use her time more effectively.
Mom was late because she got stuck in traffic, even though she knew it was going to be a bad traffic day. I took the train and I got to her office on time. From time to time, she should consider using public transport when she knows the drive might be slow. I figured that if 50,000 Cisco employees each avoided driving 40 kilometers or 25 miles per week for an entire year, that would save about 25,000 metric tons or 55 million pounds of carbon dioxide. Hey, you have 10 minutes of retard. Oh, I'm sorry, there was so much traffic. I got water from a water fountain rather than a bottle, which would need to be recycled. Can you get the copies from the printer? D'accord. I'm glad that you printed on both sides. Did you know it takes 3.5 barrels of oil and 14 trees to produce one ton of paper? And did you know when that same ton of paper goes to the landfill, it takes up 90 cubic feet? Okay, genius. Thanks for the information. I'm going to show you the telepresence room in a few minutes where we're going to have a meeting. I wonder how many hour-long telepresence meetings will total up to the amount of carbon dioxide emitted from US to Europe. I'm sure it's on our website. Voilà. Take a look. Mom, do you realize that the waste baskets have different sections for recycling? You just threw your plastic cup in the paper section. Ah, oh, thanks for pointing that out. Um, Mom. You don't have your own office, do you? No. When I came in the building, I chose the space I needed today that matched what I needed to do. It's that simple. It's called mobility within our offices. Ali, let's go. I reminded my mom about how she can contribute to help protect our environment. Thanks for the suggestion. Where did you get all those facts? On the internet, of course. Now for our last video, which was shot in San Jose. I love solving puzzles and figuring things out. I see the racks of equipment are identified by name. Your name is on some, but also someone else named James. Great observation. James has a lot of equipment power on, and yet he hasn't been working in the lab for a long while. He moved into another group. So he forgot to take it with him? No, he doesn't need it in his other group. We're going to make room for someone else to use it and then recycle the equipment. We have Credo for that. Credo a person? No, it's not. It's a recycling program. Dad, what does Credo mean? Cisco Resource Exchange and Disposal Online. What else do you see? How much does a typical rack consume in electricity? These racks consume about 4,000 watts all day, each day. What is that equal to? Enough to power two homes in the U.S.? And then, where does the unused equipment go? Maybe to the dump? Look behind you. That's where we place non-working equipment at the end of its useful life. Because our news equipment not only increases lab power usage and greenhouse gases, but takes up limited lab space. That's my girl. I was so happy that my dad saved energy at work. I promised to clean out my room and closets at home right away. There's a common theme in all your videos. Every small change in behavior across the globe can have a huge impact on conservation and saving the environment. Thanks for the message that we saw and heard today. 